exodus from Cuba continues to grow, and the newly released record-breaking numbers show something we just really haven't seen before. Local 10's Hatzel Vela has been following this trend for months now. He's breaking down the latest numbers from Miami. From Cuba and going to Miami. The exodus continues uh, at, at full throttle. It is historic and record-breaking, something we have not seen since the early 60s. It's the biggest, most intense outmigration, uh, for, for sure. Cuban experts like University of Miami professor Michael Bustamante calls it a crisis. In terms of absolute numbers, this is the largest total number of Cubans that have migrated to the United States in a single year period, less than a year even at this point, uh, since 1959. Here are the newly released numbers. U.S. Customs and Border Protection reports since October of last year, close to 178,000 Cubans have crossed the U.S.-Mexico border. Aside from the numbers, academics say the political silence from both parties is striking. Could be politicians don't want to touch the issue as immigration has become a political liability. This is a migration crisis, but it's almost as if it's because it's happening kind of off stage in South Florida, you know, through the U.S.-Mexico border. It's as, it's as if it doesn't register. We're also seeing record-breaking numbers by sea. The U.S. Coast Guard says it has intercepted close to 4,000 Cubans. Last fiscal year, it was 838. The dire economic crisis in Cuba is mainly to blame for the mass exodus. The pandemic and U.S. sanctions have worsened the already inefficient centralized economy. Blackouts, food and medicine shortages are part of daily life on the island. When it comes to U.S. strategy and policy. Do you feel like the White House has one? No. No. Former professor and Cuba expert Andy Gomez believes the White House has only instituted stopgap measures. He calls this exodus predictable. What the Cuban government has done every time there's a crisis on the island. Why? because that is less people that they need to worry about. Feeding, housing, health care, you name it. And so both experts believe the mass exodus will continue, although they believe it may slow down in the coming months because of hurricane season. We're now reporting live from Miami. I'm Hatzel Fellow, Local 10 News. Hatzel, thank you.